Hey guys, this is Gardening 101, and I'm going to discuss fencing. Um, our fences have evolved over the years because we've had some issues with deer either coming through the fence or over the fence um, and into the garden and then destroying parts of the garden. So there's a couple ways we can deal with that. We can put up a better fence. Uh, we can also get a nuisance uh, permit to kill any deer um, at any time of the year. Um, but we'd rather not do that, especially when we've got mamas dropping babies and that sort of thing. So our preference is to have a good fence to begin with. So when we first started our fencing, um, we were using a, a a pest net. It's, it's a plastic. As you can see, it's got little teeny um, squares in it. And it worked fairly well for the first couple of years. And then I think a couple of the deer decided that they could jump it because um, it's about, uh, there's the top of it, um, it's about seven feet tall, but they figured out they could jump it and then maybe they got scared or whatever, but they decided, oh, we can run through it. And so we were finding holes in our fencing constantly last year. So we thought, okay, we've got to do something else. And so we've come up with this plan this year and what we've done is we've got chicken wire. Um, the first four feet. Okay, so here it's just basic chicken wire up the first four feet. And this is just a, uh, I guess, one by or one and a half by two um, that we're on. And it's, it's screwed in here. And then we've got string up the rest of the way. And that goes about nine feet. So that limits their thought process that they could actually jump the fence. Additionally, what we've learned is that deer tend to not jump over something that has an angle to it. So down on the garden end, you can see here, we've got this angle, yeah, nice look at the sun there, but we've got this angled piece here across, across there. Um, and that gives some depth to the fence. And we have not had any problems with the deer jumping over or crashing through it. Uh, the only thing we've had in terms of nuisance pests has been squirrels, and you really can't get rid of the squirrels. So the way we do our, our gates is we have two poles, one here and one here. This one's stationary, this one moves. Up at the very top, you can see there's a hook up there. That hooks the top in, and then we come down here to the bottom, and I'm going to move it with my foot and pull it into, there's a little wire hook down there, so I'm going to move it into that hook. And that is how we close up the garden. Now this one's not really tight. On the other side it's tighter. You can see way over there, there's a, there's a um, gate there. And that gate opens from here all the way to there. So we can, we can open that a lot, quite a ways. Um, so that's what we've done for fencing and gates. It's been very effective. Uh, it did cost a bit of money. I want to say we put probably $100, $120 into it, but this is a reusable fence. Um, even if we take it down or we roll it up, um, it will be reusable and for quite a few years to come, which is what we were doing with the deer net as well. So that's our take on fencing a garden and keeping the deer which are plentiful. There's a there's a herd of about oh, 20 or 30 deer that roam this area. Um, that's what we do to keep the deer out. So uh, this is gardening 101 fencing.